When they say this show features living color, you better believe it. Dick Gregory was one of the greatest political comedians to ever live. In about six more months, they're going to be forced to hire Negro bus drivers in Mississippi, so we're growing steering wheels so they can drive from the back of the bus. <laughs> the stage presence was so Excuse me. smooth. Dick Gregory changed the entire landscape of stand-up comedy. Football is a fair sport for my people. Only sport in the world, a Negro can chase a white man and 40,000 people stand up and cheer. Damn, he's talking to these white people like that. He just spoke his truth. What's overlooked is how unafraid he was. Are you out to give people a good laugh? Are you out to make a very definite point? I happen to believe that you can't laugh social problems out of existence. Dick knew how to take a heated issue, bring humor, and move forward. It encouraged people. I think people get confused and think that he was an activist who decided to be funny. No, no, no. His soul was that of a stand-up comic. He just could not do that in a world that was falling down around him. Now, I ran from Chicago to Washington, D.C. to dramatize that there's a need to feed hungry people. He ran for Native Americans. He ran for women. He gave so much of himself to a movement, to a people. He wanted to be a part of the change, and he always fought for that change. My goal is to really help change the priorities in this country. No man has given more, asked less, or been more needed. Ladies and gentlemen, Dick Gregory!